Nous allons démarrer cet épisode avec une petite séance de psy puisque Michael ne se sent pas bien suite à ses aventures avec le cartel mexicain Martin. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. Uh, my son. <laughs> My daughter, my wife, well, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I got to make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behavior? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed, but for some reason I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering, or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Dis-moi, combien coûtent tes 5 minutes de service Nous voilà arrivés chez Michael. Il a une sacrée maison tout de même. Hein. Il a les moyens. C'est une Audi. Enfin, ça ressemble du moins à une Audi. Certainement qu'ils n'ont pas les licences. La petite chérie à son papa. Really? Because 
I keep hearing the math for that. This suck cock that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. Allez au stand du loueur de vélo. Dis-moi, Michael, tu comptes faire du vélo en tongue Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you. I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. You're driving like a psychopath, Michael. Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick, a Jew boy, or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of like force a habit. Unbelievable. Whatever. Michael, tu transpires déjà, mais t'as pas encore fait de vélo. Avant de transpirer, attends de faire un petit peu de vélo. Hey you, two bikes. Take your pick. Choisissez un vélo. Je vais prendre. Non, pas le vélo de course. Je vais prendre le VTT. Maintenez X pour pédaler et tapotez rapidement sur X pour pédaler plus vite. Faites la course avec Jimmy jusqu'à la jetée. Ok. Je vais couper ce que je suis déjà à la bourre. <rire> Je vais tirer sur les passants. Le vélo améliore votre endurance globale, améliorer votre endurance pour tenir plus longtemps lorsque vous faites des efforts physiques. Je suis complètement épuisé, t'as vu Ma barre verte s'est transformée en rouge. C'est bon. 
Vous avez épuisé votre endurance. Si vous forcez encore, votre santé baissera. Mais je continue. <rire> De toute façon, on est full life. Tu le vois, hein la barre rouge diminue de plus en plus. Poussez-vous, je passe. Dis-moi, t'as un petit boule appréciable à regarder. Là, je vais gagner. Hein. Celle-là, elle a jeté, ouais. Wow! <rire> Allez, on se le refait. Saute la bordure. Wow! Je suis un taré. Poussez-vous! Je vais gagner. C'est moi le premier. Alors, est-ce qu'on peut cabrer? Non, non, on peut pas cabrer. T'es la traîne d'Emmy. Like Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah, Dad, wait. Mais t'es sérieux, Jimmy Entre le fils, la mère et la fille, Michael n'est pas gâté. Je trouve que les fonds marins sont plutôt bien faits pour un jeu qui date de 2011. Alors je ne sais pas si les gravismes des fonds marins étaient aussi bien réalisés sur PS3, mais n'hésite pas à me le dire en commentaire. Peut-être que c'est l'amélioration justement Next Gen qui vaut ça. Nager avec L et X pour nager, tapoter rapidement pour nager plus rapidement. Appuyer sur R1 pour plonger sous l'eau. Ok. Je commence à plus avoir beaucoup de vie. Ouh là là, ça commence à être critique même. Nage améliore aussi votre endurance globale. Franchement, pour un vieux, il est vraiment sportif. Hein. Il fait du vélo, maintenant il fait de la natation et il tient le coup. Hein. Ah ouais, ça serait bien de prendre le jet ski là et de faire quelques tours de jet ski. Dignity Los Santos. Ah bah génial voilà On a notre course en jet ski Alors que faut-il faire On n'a pas d'objectif de mission Et attends mais il me tire dessus La meuf elle est déjà morte Ah mais moi j'ai déjà reçu une balle dans le dos Allez vers le canal R1 et joystick L pour faire un virage serré Oh, 
drug dealers start hanging out. Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Tu m'étonnes que Michael va avoir le psy de manière hebdomadaire avec la famille de Tariq qu'il a. Ça m'étonne pas. Il n'y a pas un pour attraper l'autre. Pour les semer. Alors, tu es dessus, non Ah, c'est bon Je les ai Ah, ouais, c'est bon. Aller vers la côte. Wow. Oh les sauts. C'est là. C'est vraiment sympa ce petit tour de jet ski. Moi je l'attendais. Et je l'ai eu. <rire> Attends On va faire le saut là. On va, faire, on va en profiter. Wouhou <rire> Excellent. Il y a d'autres sauts. Mais c'est pas ce qui nous intéresse. Nous allons retrouver Jimmy. Allez bien. Mission réussie. Plein pot, 119% stabilité, 0 plus vif qu'un poisson. On n'a pas réussi l'objectif, plus vif qu'un poisson. Ok. La fourrière a embarqué. Le Huttle de Michael, vous pouvez vous rendre au garage et payer une amende pour récupérer un véhicule. Ok. Du coup, maintenant qu'on a fait une mission avec chaque membre de la famille, la famille Détaré, on a le L là qui est ici, qui est Lester. Et on va se rendre chez Lester pour faire cette mission. Nous allons peut-être faire... Enfin, la rencontre de Trevor, puisque Trevor est le troisième personnage jouable de GTA V. Need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester. About what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you got to figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an I find alert. That little. College boy sack of shit. 
phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. Uh, I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> Allez à la boutique de euh, Suburban de Wenwood. T'es mignon avec ton petit sac à dos. On va prendre cette caisse. Elle ressemble à une mini Cooper. Comment allons-nous nous habiller Excusez-moi. J'ai eu cette interview avec cette tech company. Je pense que j'ai besoin de quelque chose, je ne sais pas, geeky, utile. Tu as perdu ton travail et le monde a passé, hein C'est trop mal. Je n'ai pas perdu mon travail. Bien sûr. Tu as trop vieux, tu as outsourcé, la même chose qui est passée à mon père. Maintenant, tu dois te mettre dans une génération différente. Qu'est-ce que c'est d'une veste et quelques chaussures de cargo shorts Tout de suite. Acheter une tenue appropriée. Vend les gilets. Oh, c'est moche. C'est moche. C'est plutôt mon style. Alors ça, pas du tout. Ah, le gilet vert est plutôt pas mal. Allez, je prends le gilet vert. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. Allez au bureau de Life Inviter. Et tu restes en tongue, ok. Non, tu veux pas partir Et tu fermes pas la portière <rire> Destin nous appelle, on décroche. Michael, je suis tout dressé. Maintenant, tu veux me rendre sur cette chose Le prototype est quelque part dans le Life Inviter office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Wow. <laughs> Mais quel pilote. Alors je trouve que la conduite est clairement mieux que dans GTA 3. Alors si tu as regardé les vidéos de GTA 3. Oh c'était pathétique euh, la conduite des véhicules dans GTA 3. Mais euh, franchement, là dans GTA 5, c'est plutôt agréable de conduire. Même si les mouvements de direction sont pas forcément agréables. Mais peut-être que je compare trop avec GT7, puisque je fais en parallèle euh, Grand Turismo 7. Ah, c'est vrai que les deux jeux ne sont pas du tout comparables. Alors. Dirigez-vous vers l'entrée de derrière. Hey, hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <rire> But we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh my, you know it's. Yeah, well, you know you gotta do what you gotta do. 
you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Suivez le programmeur. On va passer euh, incognito. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Sincèrement, j'aurais pu mettre un pantalon pour aller travailler. <rire> Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. Je vais au taf, short et tong. Et une veste verte. <rire> oui, mon bureau. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff. Alors, je suis informaticien. After that, it's just a hack job. <rire> je peux te dire que t'as des tonnes, des tonnes de virus sur ton PC, là. Give me the wink, bro. Hmm. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <rire> They gotta send me on another one of those seminars. Trouve qu'elle ressemble à la princesse Fiona. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it it might be why. Give me a second, will ya? Et ça recommence. Lancer le programme antivirus. Fueled by Java, bro. And we scan. Scanning. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. Almost cracked it, and that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. That's a Puis j'ai le prototype. Il est complètement taré. This is the future of American economy. Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. <laughs> He's this close to installing a ball a pit. Dude. He's become such a cock. <laughs> If we don't keep smiling. Allez, maintenant il faut piéger le prototype. Allez, maintenant il faut sortir du bâtiment puisqu'on a terminé, on a bien piégé le prototype, c'est fait. Alors, où est la sortie Il me semble que je suis passé par là, ouais, c'est ça. Alors, je peux pas courir. On va descendre tranquillement. Life tomorrow. Une petite boisson Est-ce qu'on peut acheter des boissons Ah ouais. Un sprite. Q sec. Ouais, allez. <rire> Excellent, il jette la boisson comme ça par terre. Normal. Euh... Je pense que je suis perdu parce que c'est pas là. On dirait plutôt la cafette. Ah si, c'est bon. Je me souviens des... Euh, la yoga zone et invite zone. Regardez la keynote chez Michael. Hey Michael, hold on, hold on. 
Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. You know, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, uh, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Ok, on va préparer les pop-corn et on va s'installer confortablement dans notre canapé. Alors le salon est ici, parfait. Allez, va faire un tennis. On peut changer de chaîne, on peut régler le volume et on peut changer la vue. Alors est-ce qu'il faut mettre une chaîne en particulier Je ne sais point du tout. Bah voilà, c'est ça. Life in Vendor, Founder and CEO. Attendez que Jay Norris sorte le prototype de téléphone et appelez-le. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal... Huh. Hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Get security! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! C'est là Mission réussie. Demande d'amis. Ok. Michael peut changer de vêtements dans sa chambre. C'est comme pour Franklin. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, maybe I'll take a look. Sincèrement, je suis étonné à chaque fin de mission. On vient de tuer le PDG de Life Invader. Un épisode plus court que d'habitude puisqu'aujourd'hui j'ai peu de temps mais ne t'inquiète pas on revient très vite. N'hésite pas à mettre un petit pouce bleu en bas de la vidéo, à t'abonner si t'es nouveau. Je te dis à bientôt, bye bye